2017 relative velocity question 2 part B ship P is moving north at 15 kilometers an hour so we have the velocity of P north at 15 is 0 I plus 15 in the J direction the second ship Q 10 kilometers west of P so Q is 10 kilometers west of P and appears to be moving relative to P so the velocity of Q relative to P is equal to a direction east 60 degrees south so east 60 degrees south down this way if we go east and then go south so we have 60 so we have in this sector here we have a positive negative so the velocity of q relative to p bring it down here the velocity of q relative to p is going to be equal to the speed which is 15 root 3 15 root 3 by the cause of the angle by the cause of 60 that's positive and then we have negative 15 root 3 sine 60 and this works out to be so the cause of 60 is a half so we have half of 15 so 7.5 root 3 in the i direction and in the j direction we have a minus sine 60 is root 3 over 2 so just write it out root 3 root 3 over 2 in the j direction if you're not sure but you can see it's going to be 45 over 2 25 7.5 root 3 is in the i and minus 45 over 2 which is 22 and a half in the j direction the velocity of q relative to p now we want the question is the velocity of q so we have to add these two together just write the velocity of p underneath 15 j and gives us the velocity of q to be 7.5 root 3 in the i direction and we have a minus 7.5 in the j direction so it's probably good maths to get to the magnitude and the direction the magnitude of the velocity of q i think we can probably work this out if we obviously just use a calculator but 7.5 is 15 over 2 by root 3 ought to be squared and then we're going to have plus when you can put the minus in if you want for the 7.5 to be squared but it's going to work out to be a positive 15 over 2 squared so in the first bracket we have on top 15 squared 225 by 3 which is 675 and on the bottom 2 squared so we have 675 over 4 and the second one is 225 over 4 and that's going to give the square root of 900 over 4 which is equal to square root of 225 which is equal to 15 and that will be I think we are dealing in meters per second here or was it kilometers an hour kilometers an hour and then the direction the inverse tan the inverse tan of 7.5 the j over 7.5 root 3 and this works out evenly too that's a 1 on top so the inverse tan of 1 over root 3 you should know that that would give the angle whatever you've called it you call it it's well it's not that angle but it'll be in the same direction i think a theta is equal to 30 degrees and theta is going in a positive negative direction so positive negative direction positive first and then negative so this is my theta 30 degrees and we're going south of east okay the next part of this question two minutes after the time when they're closest p is east theta degrees north find theta okay well let's just draw the diagram for two minutes later so what have we got we have q and p the distance apart that they are is 10 kilometers q 
relative to p was going down in this direction just double check what it was it was 15 root 3 and 60 degree was the angle so 60 degree angle we have p we have q so this will give us the closest distance here we know from all our previous questions this x here is going to be 10 sine 60 and with sine 60 being root 3 over 2 we are going to get 5 root 3 5 root 3 for x now two minutes later two minutes after they were closest to each other let's say it's down here at this point here so we can get this value here in y so we need to know the speed and we need to know the time to get the distance so distance is equal to speed by time the speed 15 root 3 kilometers an hour just double check that 15 root 3 kilometers an hour and the time was two minutes so two over 60 so that's going to give us 30 over 60 so that's one over two so root three over two root three over two so now we have now we have this triangle i'll draw it outside just to put the angles in so we have our right angle so our y down the bottom root three over two we don't have the diagonal x the straight side five root three so the angle a at the top here i think we're going to need this angle a is the inverse tan of root three over two the opposite divided by five root three 